Hello, this is Pavel from Run Quiz. Um, this video is a step-by-step -step, uh, demo how to set up and start posting your own content. There are a lot of uh, changes on the system and uh, in this video I want to present um, the pieces we introduced, uh, they are going together uh, in, a, in one process of posting your own articles. Um, we have um, a lot of variations of how we either generate or enhance content, but uh, this demo is specifically for uh, for the case when I have my own articles and I don't need um, to do anything with it. So it will simplify demonstration of the content meal. Um, I will also cover advanced feature of um, validating links after they posted and sending them for second tier for bookmarking uh, automatically after a uh, post done. So we'll start with the content meal. Um, if I want to, I want to create a bucket where I will upload my my articles. Again, so um, there are a lot of um, the the content mill is still in development. Uh, we are moving over uh, features we had built in and submissions, but um, this demo will be simple because uh, if I want to post articles that I created with other tools, I don't need to set any other options. I created a bucket, uh, selected the source for my own articles. Um, because they will be spoon articles, I let's say I would want to post every article 20 times and I will not change any other options I will save it now because uh, this is uh, uh, the content source is my own article so I need to upload articles I click upload I select several articles created with uh, content machine. Um, title is in the first line and I click upload. So now I have um, three, six, six articles spawn ready to post if I click preview. So that will be one of the version and of course, because it's spawned, so they're like, um, so I have everything pre-created with uh, outside of run quiz. Now, in order to, uh, in order to uh, enable bucket to serve content, I need to activate it. So you can see five articles ready to be uh, posted in uh, overview so it's a little bit confusing so there's uploaded articles and this is uh, article to be posted but mm, there are different sources of content let's say if I'll be using a uh, bucket for article builder or syndicated or any others we will we will be adding um, there will be no um, Mm, there will be different sources. In this specific case, source for content, my uploaded articles. And when I click on the overview pane, I'll see that uh, first five articles are created that are ready to be um, uh, to be posted. If I would set uh, any other advanced options, let's say if I want to embed uh, images, videos, um, if I want to uh, uh, spin content, if I want to translate, I will set, I will set, I will set those options. And when I start bucket, so they will apply all of the settings on the uh, uploaded content, and this will be end result that is ready to be posted. So now we have mm, six article uploaded, each to be posted, I believe, ten times. 20 times so it's enough content for over 100 posts and I have uh, five pre-created articles no blog post assigned so now I go to the um, my of to my network recently created um, with um, over 500 uh, blog accounts 
I click on submission tab and if you don't see uh, if you don't see the screen exactly the same way so uh, you need to go in settings and sw uh, change a switch of view uh, legacy or don't view legacy submissions because it's completely new uh, concept this is um, this is uh, view most likely you have where you have submissions link sets so to use a new way of uh, posting so you need to either create new network or um, or in existing network you can switch uh, legacy submissions off but so we made it one way or another so that there's no like the screen is not uh, as busy with having all information on one screen so now i go and click post submission because we extracted all content submission is extremely simple so i mm, give it a name I selected source of the content and I tell how many posts I want to make. I want if I want to spread the content over time, I can do it for up to almost a month. For the for the sake of this demo, I will use immediate posting and I and I create submission. So this is a, a new submission dashboard. And if I refresh, you can see that there are a number of uh, posts, like exactly like requested number 20 posts and some already assigned uh, content. Some is waiting for content to be assigned. Well, I post a video to let um, system create content for a submission. And now like, if I refresh it, you can see that um, there are 20 posts in total and 15 are uh, scheduled. If I click on the posts, so you have uh, you have two tabs in here. There's a scheduled posts. And if I click on the completed, you can see that some of the posts already completed. Um, I can, by default, you see only successful posts, but I can uncheck and see all. So you can see that while we switching back and forth, there are no more scheduled because they were all set for immediate post and they are all in the completed, completed pane. Um, if I unchecked once again, so you can see that all of them are already sent for posting. If I uh, switch to content bucket, you see that there are total 25 articles now and five more created uh, ready to, uh, to be assigned for new posts and 20 posts already assigned. If I by default i see only new unassigned articles if i unchecked filter i can see that mm, all content that were created and um, and the block the block post is assigned so going back to the uh, to the submission i can see that 12 Post already successful out of 20. All others are still in the posting queue. If I go to completed, you can see how many already successful. Again, if I'm looking to see all of them, you can see number in front of uh, after the posting status. This is the try the retry system make because. Um, Oh, because of the nature of Web2 sites, um, the uh, site might be down, the account might be suspended, or um, um, user credentials might be invalid. So instead of uh, us failing it, we retry every post up to five times using uh, next blog from the network and assuming that you have enough on uh, Mm, on in the network so the 
the likelihood of the post to be made to be completed is very high because it will be retried five times. Um, you can see that 16 successful and um, for those who don't know we only count successful posts even if you uh, set uh, even if you retry we retry one post five times uh, failed so you uh, we only take a post in credit when post are considered successful so uh, going back to overview and you can see that 18 out of 20 are, are successful and um, you can view them on a posts um, tab so uh, now I will show more complex setup I'll go to submissions let's call it two I use exactly same um, source of the content and this is the the main reason why we extract it as a as a standalone content server so you don't need to now deal with the content for every submission so uh, um, let's say if we use upload uh, own articles you need to make sure you upload it enough if you use syndicated an article builder so you don't need to create um, set up every submission for the source and no matter how complex or simple the content source is a submission always uh, pretty straightforward um, so I created second submission I selected the same content and again will choose to post to make 20 posts well actually before I do that I will go to bookmarking network and create new submission so mm, because it's demo so basically this will be used to bookmark every successful post we made with the web2 side let's say for the again for the sake of demo i will use to bookmark every uh, successful post five times but in reality so you probably would want to do it uh, um, might be i don't know you might do the like hundred times over seven days so that will be just will add in a link just to the to the ever successful post you make but again for the sake of them i'll do five and i'll spread them uh one hour so now in the bookmarking network we have submission that is active and will trigger every time we add new uh url uh, to be bookmarked so again going back to um, blogging network submission so you can see that the um, first submission posted 20 out of 20 um, and well since we created bookmarking so I will create link world as well so link world it is an online storage and checker for links uh, let's say if you need those links later on for uh, your client or you want to um, send them for second tier bookmark second tier backlinking so basically if you want them to be checked um, so you probably would want to upload them into link world so so link world is a is a is a storage for links and we have um, settings where we uh, check links um, on a regular basis and uh, you can anytime come uh, like uh, uh, to the bucket and extract links that were checked and uh, alive 
I'm really trying not to make it confusion, confusing. So uh, I'm going back to. Um, the web2 network and now we will do more advanced setup so we use um, second we create second submission using the same content we'll do again 20 posts again no spread for for uh, for the sake of the demo but when this time we'll enable automation um, every successfully post will be sent to the uh, link world for storage and this interesting uh, setup because now uh, automatically you will send um, successful po post to bookmarking and now we have second submission and you can see that the automation is enabled link wall this demo one uh, bookmarking this is a uh, link to bookmarking which is set to a bookmark each URL five times and as I rest uh, restarted so you can see that um, that 20 20 posts scheduled and again because um, it is uh, set for immediate so you don't you don't need to wait long unless uh, there is a uh, delay in the posting but usually uh, we have enough capacity to post almost immediately and uh, you have options to cancel post preview post you can send it for immediate posting immediately in queue and again so now we have um, all posts scheduled and you can see that already two successful um, post made and now if I go to our link wall you can see that two links were added and they will be checked and um, and bookmarking if I go to bookmarking selected you can see that two URL were uploaded and um, because we set each every URL to bookmark five times you can see that one is actually dead so like uh, system failed to retrieve page content but another scheduled for for bookmarking so so we already have 30 so if I switch back we have 30 links scheduled for for bookmarking because we already have nine URLs posted uh, from the uh, from the upper tier so um, so I hope it's not confusion and uh, this is submission that post my own content to my web2 network I'm refreshing and you can see that at this moment there are 20 uh, out of 20 posts nine are successful eleven and if I go to bookmarking we see eleven URL submitted 40 posts created and because we set up spread for one hour uh, most of them are not posted yet like none of them are posted yet I can pause few you can see that they have status posted 
posting. So, um, um, well, that's basically, I don't want to make it I even more confusing. So we have, to summarize, we um, set content meal, uh, content bucket and uploaded article. Make sure you have it started and you see um, and you see articles created and ready for to be used by the system. So remember when we started, so uh, we had only five created, but now as uh, different submissions uh, requesting articles, system create more, it always tries to keep uh, five uh, more available for the for submissions. In uh, in our submission, we created and set up. <coughs> sorry, and selected this content bucket as a source of the content, and set up to make twenty posts. We set up to upload every successful post to link bucket for extra um, check the the. Um, link check and we uploaded that every post to uh, to the second tier bookmarking to be used five times if i uh, go to link world you can see that mm, although our system reported them post uh, successful uh, link checker found one link that and uh, the most important uh, is link uh, link world scheduled to check links regularly at this moment it uh, checks them every um, seven days so and uh, despite like and this data never deleted uh, production data, the, the um, relational data, the data related to submissions, we we clean up from the database uh, every two months. But uh, the data you store, the post you stored in the link wall, this is a uh, permanent storage and uh, we'll never delete it and we'll recheck it regularly. Um, so I'm going back to submission. Again, so we have two submissions and one is posted 20 out of 20. A more complex one when we s uh, use the same content and we send links to mm, link world and uh, bookmarking is also almost completed. And if I go to Uh, down to your uh, bookmark and you see that 18 URLs posted, 67 bookmarks scheduled, three successful, those three that I mainly sent to Q. And uh, this all works with an easy setup and obviously you can set up even or create even more complex uh, uh, multi-tier setup and this was the uh, main uh, objective of our system redesign um, thank you for watching and um, mm, hope it all makes sense and I will be posting more videos of uh, how for with the different use cases mm, and uh, thank you for using Runquiz.